Hey guys, today we have yet another wireless uh, CarPlay adapter to, to, to try out in Golf Mark 7. So this is made by Autocast, it's called Wireless USB Adapter, I believe. And I can say right away that it is the smallest one that I've tested this far. So we have this, this device, it's pretty small, it's as tall as my iPhone 11 is wide, so it's it's about this size. It's the smallest one that I have. We have uh, two USB ports. This is USB-C over here, which you are going to connect with the device uh, in your car, with your infotainment system. And over here, there's a regular USB. I believe this is for firmware update, if you uh, want to force a firmware update without your phone. And there are two LEDs over here, right up, uh, right uh, above the USB port, which are not that important. Uh, you should look at those indicators only while the while the firmware update is performed. Okay, so in the box we also have what do we have over here? We have some user manual, and we have a small box with uh, two things. Uh, there's an USB to USB-C adapter if your car is equipped with USB-C port and there's a very short cable which is actually very good because you want to hide this device somewhere in the uh, front compartment on or under the armrest wherever the uh, USB port is uh, installed by factory in your car. So we are going to connect this over here and we are, connect, we are going to connect this end to the car and check how this works. And right now the device is booting up and after a while we should see um, it over here on the screen. Of course your car needs to be CarPlay enabled so the wired, the wired CarPlay needs to be working um, in your car to use this device because this device is pretending to be an iPhone car will let it to use the screen and then this device will connect to your iPhone wirelessly and it will pass through the CarPlay interface um, from your phone wirelessly to the to the car. Okay so we can see that uh, it's all here. It, it took about 15 maybe 10 seconds to boot up and then another 10 seconds to connect with the phone with my phone which is over here and uh, to bring the CarPlay interface onto the display and we can check if the music works if the controls work so there's a little bit of lag which is expected in wireless connections maybe let's run the uh, music player Let's check um, uh, how our, how the controls look over here. Do we have music up? Yes, we have music up over here. So let's play something. Is it working? Is working. Okay, so let's check what's the delay between my input and the actual reaction from the car. So let's pause the, um, the track. About uh, one second, maybe one second of delay be, um, before we can hear the music stop. Maybe one and a half. Next track. One and a half. Okay, so we have touch controls, of course. Maybe let's bring the volume a um, little bit lower. We have the control knob over here. So if your car is not equipped with a touch screen, maybe you have an Audi with a large MMI control knob over here, you can still control it over the, uh, with the control knob. And let's check if the uh, steering wheel controls work over here as well. So let's uh, play next track. And track is uh, switching to the next one. So steering wheel controls are working correctly. And if you take your phone and navigate to address uh, 192.168.50.2, you have some advanced settings over here. So you can adjust it for your specific setup. You can change the sound quality and media delay. So it will bring down the lag over here, but um, the connection might be less stable. And you have also some options for uh, automatic connection and background mode, whatever it is. I'm not sure what it is. You have a GPS toggle. I will shortly explain what this means. So um, you, of course, have a GPS receiver in your phone, but your car might be also equipped with GPS antenna if you have some navigation system. And if you have this toggled on, 
your car will pass through the GPS position of the car to your phone to be used by the navigation map that you are using on your phone through the CarPlay interface. So for example, Google Maps over here will use the car position instead of the phone position. Those two things are pretty much the same, but not all the time. Let's say that you are going through a tunnel in the middle of the city or you have very low GPS receiver because it's a city center with very high buildings. So your car has a way to estimate your position when there's no GPS signal. It knows when it lost the signal and it knows the uh, wheel speed. It knows your steering wheel position. So it can estimate where you are when there's no GPS uh, signal and it will pass through this information to your phone so you will uh, you will have your position on Google Maps or Apple Maps or, or whatever you are using even though there's no GPS uh, reception so that's a cool feature that I think uh, you should know about and there's also an option to check for updates which you can perform through the phone or with an USB stick. I've already made a video about how to do it with the USB media um, uh, media source and I have to be honest with you I've, uh, I had to do this update because I had some stability issues with the device when it came uh, here first use out from the box it, it was overheating and the connection, the wireless connection between the phone and the device um, was not that stable. But after the uh, update uh, that I've performed and filmed, everything is back to norm normal over here. So I have uh, no issues, uh, no issues since. So let's talk pros and cons of this device. Uh, one, it's very easy to use. Pairing is very easy. All you need to do is look for the device with your phone and then it will prompt you to use CarPlay and pretty much that's it. Each time you turn on the device, turn on your car, it will automatically look for your phone, connect with it, and you have no thing to do, no setup, nothing to touch. It will just be ready as soon as possible and here on your screen. And the boot up is uh, fairly quick uh, as you uh, saw before. And also I really like that, that the device is so small. It's very small, it's very easy to fit over here. I have no problem uh, closing this front compartment. When it comes to cons of this device, I have just one complaint and the um, um, wireless uh, range is not as, um, as good as I hoped. So for example, when I'm uh, picking it up uh, someone and I need to get out from the car and leave the car um, running, um, I go a few meters uh, to the side come back to the car and the device is disconnected of course it will reconnect in few seconds but I was hoping it would be um, the range would be a little bit uh, larger but but it's not so you can get this device on Amazon and I'm linking it in the description below this video. It's 128. There's a 20 bucks coupon and 13 bucks uh, um, discount if you join Prime. It's up to you if it's worth this price. And uh, if you're looking for a technical specification, it's in the description below this video as well. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comment section. Give me a thumbs up if you like this quick review and subscribe for future ones. See you soon.